Hey guys, it's Julia and for today's video I'm going to be talking about all the books that I read in the month of January So let's jump right into it. This month I participated in the biannual bibliothon Which was hosted by a bunch of lovely ladies and I'll have my info linked down below for like the wrap-up that I did Which also has like all the readathon info and stuff. It was a lot of fun. It was the winter biannual bibliothon I really enjoyed participating. I read three books that week and let's just talk about all the other things that I read this First up here I have Science by Robert and Drake, which is a poetry collection all those tumblery sort of you know poems and it was like you know, about romance and tragedy and all that sort of things. It was fine. It was average. I enjoyed it, but it's not like, it's not like Edgar Allan Poe good. You know what I'm saying? But it's like a good modern poetry collection. Not my favorite, but it was still decent. I ended up giving it 3.5 out of 5 stars. Next up here, I have The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Genides, which I was thoroughly disappointed by, unfortunately. This book is about this girl who's writing her thesis statement on, who is it, Jane Austen and Elliot something. I forgot. Okay. And it was just not good. I really did not care. It read like a rom-com at the beginning, and I just did not care for it at all. I ended up DNFing it, unfortunately. I hated the writing, the characters. A lot of the just the book in general like if you take quotes out of there some of them were just so offensive and rude and some of them just didn't make any sense at all so I actually did a whole ranty review on Goodreads and I still value Jeffrey Gendy so much as an author I love The Virgin Suicide with all my heart but this broke this broke yeah this book broke my soul okay it uh, was really sad about it, but I still want to give Middle Sex a shot, but for the marriage plot, it wasn't that great. I gave it one out of five stars. Next up here, I have A List of Cages by Robin Rowe, which is about two boys and their very difficult and complicated friendship. And it's about these two boys, Adam and Julian, and they used to be foster brothers a long time ago, but since then, Adam went to live with his uncle, and Julian hasn't seen him in a very long time. And when they see each other in high school, they kind of rekindle their friendship back together, and it's about them as friends, and just all the things that Adam has to go through, and all the things that Adam is dealing with. And it's one of the most beautiful YA contemporaries ever. The friendship is so powerful and so important. This book deals with some difficult issues as well, so it was just very hard hitting and I think it's a great book to read and I ended up giving it 3.75 out of 5 stars. Next up here I read We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson which this one I talked about a lot recently. I made a whole video about why you should read this book and basically I give a much better synopsis in that video but it's about but it's about this boy named Henry who gets basically abducted by aliens all the time and this kind of the things that the aliens show him deal with like the world in general and it's about Henry dealing with all sorts of things and I'm so vague but it was just such a, an amazing book like oh, like I need to like process things still because it was amazing but it just warmed my heart and like the first line guys like I did this in my review too but just like the first line life is bullshit doesn't that make you want to read it yeah I love this so much it was fantastic I gave it four to five stars and it was worth reading for sure and I did this little thing on the inside cover so maybe I'll like deface the whole thing I don't know but this was great yes <laughs> at this point the biannual bibliothon started so the first book I read for that was if I was your girl by Meredith Russo which I've been talking about a lot on my channel but this book is a YA contemporary book about this girl who is transgender and it's about her going through the transition and about her going to a new high school and experiencing everything herself and experiencing the whole high school deal and about her making friends and meeting boys and all that sort of jazz and this is also an own voices novel which is so important it's written by a transgender author with also a transgender cover model so that was that's just fantastic diversity all around but this book was fantastic I absolutely adored it it was so just important and I just felt like I could really understand and I feel like I really got an insight to this topic and it was just really important for me to read about so it was really interesting and I really do want to read more books like this because this was absolutely fantastic and it stole my heart and sewed it back together so yeah this was great four stars absolutely <laughs> next up here I read Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco which is a YA thriller conte not contemporary thriller mystery thing and this is about this girl who works in a morgue actually and the 18th century I believe it was um it's a historical fiction also if you couldn't tell um but she works in a morgue and she's very much into forensics and she examines the bodies of Jack the Ripper's victims and it's about her stalking Jack the Ripper and all the things that go along with that and it's about the murders of that Jack the Ripper yeah it was okay it was fine the characters I didn't love some of them I liked the writing style was interesting it was kind of like bittersweet for me uh you know it was like little rocky for me but I still thought it was important like I still thought it was like a fun book to read 
but like it wasn't that great and I didn't like I talk about this book more in my blog and wrap up and I talk about it much better there so if you want to know my full thoughts on it go over to that video but I ended up giving this book three out of five stars it was just kind of average for me and the last book for the biennial bibliothon was we should all be feminist by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie which is a TED talk that she gave with all things related to feminism and it was just a lovely short little read um, I really enjoyed it and I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. Next up here I read Histories All You Left Me by Adam Silvera which is a book about this boy named Griffin who loses his ex-boyfriend Theo who just who just recently died and we start the book off when he's at his funeral and he meets his current boyfriend we go between past and present from when he was dating Theo and to now it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be it didn't hit me as hard as I'd like to it was I don't know I just had some issues with the book it just let me down a little bit I I don't know why I thought I, I thought I'd absolutely love it to pieces and it just I didn't love it that much but I still ended up but I ended up giving it three out of five stars next up I've read two mangas and that is assassination classroom volume five and six these were great I like the series a lot I gave volume five 3.25 and volume six 3.5 out of five stars these books are basically basically about this octopus looking thing and he is the teacher of this class of delinquents and they all try to kill him because he's out to destroy the world and it's a lot of fun I really like it it's great action and I'm about to say anime manga <laughs> and it's just they're just lovely check them out next up here I read before I fall by Lauren Oliver which this book is about a girl who has a car accident after they, this party with her friends and she wakes up the next morning when she's supposed to be dead and she keeps reliving the same day over and over and over again and this book is having this book is coming out with a movie quite soon which encouraged me to pick it up because I saw the trailer which is absolutely amazing by the way I love the trailer it looks great I'm very excited for this movie but this book overall it's I it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was it's about almost 500 pages and I listened to the audiobook of this one for the most part and I thoroughly enjoyed listening to it this book I love the whole concept of like living the same day over and over again and how you would change that one day and how you would what you like what you can do in one day is just immense like it just hit me like this book just made me think a lot about a lot of different things and it was really insightful the characters weren't the greatest and the pacing wasn't the greatest it could have been cut probably like at least 100 pages but it was still an interesting book to read and I still quite enjoyed listening to the audiobook and it was just I'm really excited for the movie and if you do want to see the movie definitely read the book first it was quite good actually it was pretty decent and I ended up giving this 3.5 out of 5 stars then we're gonna pull out the big Girl and Poe bind up and I ended up reading a short story this month I read the pit and the pendulum which I thought was okay it's not my favorite Edgar Allan Poe short story um the ones I've read by him I absolutely loved but this one just kind of was okay it was dark and like mysterious just like how I love how he writes but it wasn't high up there on my favorites list but I ended up giving it a 3.25 out of 5 stars and my last and final book of the month is the call of the wild by Jack London which this was my classic for the month or you could have counted uh the Edgar Allan Poe book but whichever I don't really care which one so I'm ahead now I guess <laughs> this book is about a dog named Buck who essentially gets kidnapped and is moved around well I'll read the back to you guys is life is good for Buck in Santa Clara Valley where he spends his days eating sleeping and in the golden sunshine but one day an act of betrayal leads to his kidnap and he is forced into a life of danger dragged away to be a sled dog in the harsh and freezing cold Yukon Buck must f fight for his survival can he must fight for his survival and it was just really interesting I listened to the audiobook for the first bit and then I read the rest but it was just I really liked reading about Buck he was such a cute dog and I loved how we were reading about all these dogs and the pack and you know the alpha and all those sort of things and it was really nice to read it was it was good it was sad uh if you're not if you can't deal with like animal cruelty don't read this because they are very harsh with these dogs and it made my it broke my heart a bit but yeah I enjoyed this. I gave it, I ended up giving this book 3.5 out of 5 stars and I quite enjoyed my first Jack London book. So yeah. So there you guys have it. Those were the books that I read in the month of January. Let me know your favorite book from this month down below. I would say my month went pretty well. I have like three new favorites and I just had an overall great reading month and I wasn't too pressured this month. So that's wonderful and I will see you guys all very soon with a new video. Bye!